The official communique said, We expect this initiative to promote the growth of women-owned enterprises and to further contribute to our overall economic growth and competitiveness. I think it's a win for both because it is an area of mutual understanding and mutual concern between the two countries. Advancing women has been a clear priority for the Prime Minister. After his Liberal Party came to power, he was praised for naming a cabinet that was 50 percent women. Because it's 2015. By contrast, Trump has few women in cabinet, but he does have his daughter, Ivanka. Although not part of his administration, she has a huge influence on the president and has been a vocal advocate for policies benefiting working women. As president, my father will change the labor laws that were put in place at a time when women were not a significant portion of the workforce. The council will be made up of five women from each country. Some of them were at today's meeting. For example, Elise Allen, president and CEO of GE Canada. Tina Lee, CEO of TNT Supermarket Inc. And Don Farrell, president and CEO of Transalta Corp. Truly, there's a genuine um, desire by the Prime Minister to understand what it really takes to get women into leadership. And I saw the same genuine desire uh, by President Trump. So, I mean, really, it was um, them asking us uh, what the issues were. Women are major factors in both economies, according to the most recent data. In the U.S., 57% of women participate in the labor force. In Canada, that number is even higher, 61%. And many of those women share the same problems. Affordable child care, opportunities for career advancement, and of course, the struggle for pay equity, where in Canada, the wage gap is just over 21%. So, what was accomplished today? It'll remain to be seen how the council is struck and the kinds of recommendations we make, but I think there's a lot of power in it, for sure. What will matter is what are the results that are achieved at the end of the day, and do we advance women in business and in entrepreneurship? But for most working women, real progress means taking down the barriers that are already there. It's certainly not about building up walls.